because it really allows LMG to play side lanes here. Since, oh. since JDG is going to be playing straight up five on five, they've got a Lulu comp, an Oriana comp. They have massive, massive. They can actually reliably lock down the Akali as long as Scout is a little bit further up the lane, doesn't get to jump back to his own turret. Yeah, and the other Experience benefit. Experience in mid lane. Yep, 4v4 potential here. Around this Rift, Herald is already. Zik is diving in. There's a Hextech ultimatum. Q is going to connect as Konami taking down a half health. 369 in trouble. And the Camille is so low that his first blood going over tonight to start this one up. Hung should be the next oh. one on the menu. And there it is. But Ruler is down. Missing. It's so incredibly low. And there's the perfect execution from Scout. He's trying to do what he can. He finds the backflip. But now he's the last man standing for LNG. Can he get Konami on the way out? And yes, he can. He's looking for even more. Taking no. Oh. Able to accelerate the point of the game, although Gala might be in trouble here. Yeah, Ball Breaker gonna be charged up as Gala is in trouble, and he's just dead. Ruler is gonna get his revenge. So Tarzan feels very comfortable finishing it up and grabbing themselves number two. Also, want to highlight the itemization, uh, yeah. itemization choice here for Knight. Going for that crown, I think, is such an across the line. And you see Camille Ultimate, Akali. Okay, we Speaking see bottom across the line. Ruler is going to have the Sonic Wave soaked by his support. He's now Ulta trying to get himself out of here. Down to 200, and he's executed. That one. They take him down. Ooh, shockwave here towards the top side. Scout trying to stay in the shroud. Ults to try and get himself out of there, but there is the cease and desist. And Scout, oh, the clock won't wind up, not enough. But once again, it is going to be command attack coming in. Now it's Knight's turn to fall as Tarzan picks up the kill. Another Q going to connect. On that Rift Herald, it doesn't get any sort of charge off, and they push it right back. They're going to get the turret before. Yeah, extended beam going to come through there, and it's as if it was JDG that dropped the Herald because they got lead here for JDG. So far, the early game going well for them, but this should even things out. Just one kept tech drake is basically what LNG have bought. With the fact that they've collected the two early drakes, they can afford to give these up. But now Hung in a little bit of trouble potentially. Kanavi can close the distance quite easily. Q not going to connect there from 369. The Alistair isn't out of the woods just yet. Kanavi going to get headbutted back, but Zika is not going to be able to protect the cow. Going to have to flash to get himself out of the way. And now the Drake is going to be taken. The one thing that JDG might run into trouble with that we pointed out in draft as well is against a 1 3 1 company, particularly. I think them have Camtech Soul and team fight for Elder. Not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I think that I'm LNG, not kidding, Kobe. LNG have now bought Asian as to what's going on. Now they do. As the Sonic Wave does fly in, but Zika is on the flank angle, and these pincer movements can work out when you have a Camille you on do. your team. The Orb is now trying to keep them in, in check, but Kanavi locks down the Baron. Now Tarzan dives in, he breaks his stopwatch, but Ruler has been kicked out immediately. He pops back over, and the team fight team is popping off. Ruler unchecked in the pit, and he's just going to grab as many kills as he would they like. come out rolling at the very top here. Now it's just going to be straight on through murder these towers and it look, it's dominoes isn't it basically like after that team fight is won now jdg they have the baron they have that extra push power there is no way that side lanes can be a win condition here and it does put once again into perspective the danger of trying to play a composition like this for lng but jdg they just picked their team fight comp now they are knocking on the door of lng and looking to move up to 1-0 in this best of three it's just the power. If you don't have engage, who cares? Force the enemy to go into you. Zika's trying to keep the wave away or trying to keep the pressure <laughs> up, but his base is going to smithereens. Yep, in a turret for Nexus may not be the trade they're looking for, but there's a season assist and Tarzan oh. will acquiesce that one. LNG now trying to defend, but without their jungler, and now 369 is unstoppable. The Hextech ultimatum is one that they don't care about at all. As 369, he's going down low. Scout's trying to get what he can. Void Seek is going to work out. There is still an inhibitor turret there in the mid lane, but it's not quite going to be enough. And now the Nexus is exposed. Gala is looking for Ruler. Ruler wants a rematch of the 1v1 from earlier, and Gala's making it work. Ruler goes golden and says, all right, Knight, you can take that one. And JDG will take down the Nexus here in game number one. It's a team game, Atlas. He's, He's like, look at all these fun tools I know. that I have. We've Go. got Jack still available, Cassante still available. Like, this is last pick, and he can pick from anything he wants. Well, can he use <laughs> green skins? You know, all of these, like, <laughs> blend the, in the league partner skins because I'm like, wow, oh, maybe it'll help a little bit blending into the background there. Uh huh. Uh, any sort of pay to win advantage that you can try and sneak out. Is that why they all play actually? I, I don't need any kills. I, Honestly, like, if, if someone's Nexus is threatened and it's still 0 0, are you over? Because obviously the JDG uh, team comp later in the game is going to be really big. Right now, though, with Down that the first I mean, Scout, Scout has teleport, but he, he's. He's up at the bottom turret right now. Oh, it's being used. Let's right. go. Now let's see whether this is actually going to be that first blood. The Rift Herald is going to be secured, but now Kanavi's in trouble. He's jumped up. He's taken down first blood at six. So 
the thing is that <laughs> in an LCK game, we would not have been talking about the game for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, we'd probably be still on uh, Shamrock Malphite at this point. It's missing in a bit of trouble as well. Could be a second kill pretty quickly. Flag and Drag comes in. He avoids the knock-up, but not going to be able to avoid the takedown. Comfortable as well. <laughs> can imagine. You know, dragging so, all that So way. do not recommend. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh! Never actually done it myself, but now we've got Scalp going golden. There is the Nature's Grasp. They're looking for the re-engage. Missing's right in the middle, but I don't know whether it's going to work. The Blade Caller is massive, and Tarzan going to lock down. Missing some low health bars, but Scout is still going to be able to get rid of Knight. 369 is trying to do what he can, and they do manage to collect two. But 369 is going to go down. Zigger get is the, the dragon. And in a free for two trade, LNG going to be very happy. Pick up the objective, pick up the dragon, set themselves up for soul points, and making sure that JDG don't get that right combat. Now this angle is looking fantastic. But Ruler, he can be there in an instant. He has that killer instinct available. JDG missing. Can he find the engage opportunity? Can Scout then find the answer as Nature's Grass is going to be used on both sides? And it's no button and no button for both of the jungler and the mid laner here to Drake down relatively low. Tarzan in the back of that pit. He's going to be kicked out, and that is going to be the soul denied. Blade Caller is good, though. Is missing. Looking to be the first one to go down. And there is the kill for LNG. 369 on the bottom side of the fight. Is oh! He flashes for it, and Ruler is going to answer. The health bars are so low as the Cataclysm comes in, and it's the Crocodile that reigns supreme. 369 going down incredibly low. Ruler close to full health, but there's a three man Q, and Tarzan fights that knockup. LNG win the fight. Incredible. Scout making sure. Almost going down, baiting in night, but then staying alive. And big for me at the it's beginning. Expensive yeah. denial. No, it's already bad. It's yeah. almost up. Now you need to com just stay out of vision. Stay out of the way it's of level scout. 16. Yeah, this is going to be very, very difficult. Now there he, it is. It. he gets it anyway. So um, maybe not the best um, best use of that it money. Looks cool. As it got a bit of a battle towards the bottom side of the map. Zicker at 50% health up against 369. Taking a fair bit of damage back now, though. As JDG trying to deal with this siege, LNG just standing, protecting this siege minion. And there's a bunch of empowered minions heading towards his bottom side as well. So many leaks for JDG to patch up here on the sinking ship that is their base right now as the channel is going to be used. The Hex Splash gets missing out of the way, but Kanavi's not going to be so lucky as the Nature's Grasp is so <laughs> dangerous from Scout and LNG. They'll break down the front door and they're looking for even more here. Moving towards the Nexus Star at 369 as a decent angle, but it just he just doesn't seem to be able to find any way into a potentially good fight. Ruler trying to rain down his Q on the enemy team, but now it's 369 that's just going to get picked off, and JDG have not a lot of options left. They've only got one Nexus turret left here. Ruler and Knight, they're going to have to do a lot of damage. Yeah, they're diving forward. Tarzan just trying to get Knight, and he'll be able to pick that one up. Now there's no Nexus turrets left, and LNG just mop the floor with JDG here in game two. And as everyone predicted, we are going to a third. Whoever wins this next game. They like Camille answers into Aatrox uh, as a counter, but it looks like he's not going to go that angle. It, it would also give you options for trying to further pick people off and separate people since you're running the Viari, but stacked early. That's really big. Uh, denying LNG early dragon stacking is uh, the way that we saw how well JDG was able to play around that in game. Harold went over to Kanavi. Yeah. And not going to be able to get that last plate, but Scout has moved into position. There's the knock-up. They managed to get the cease and desist as well. Rule is going to be taken out. First blood goes to Scout and missing. He's now underneath his turret. Last shot, not going to come through there. And that is the double kill for the LNG mid laner. Scout oh, just going to hit the wall there from Hung. Sometimes these things happen, you know, as now Tarzan charging the Vault Breaker is going to find the flash onto Kanavi. They get into the back line. He can't do anything, but the Pop Blossom is absolutely huge in response. It's just not huge enough. As now Scout trying to get out of there, 369 gigantic as he gets over the wall hung, just sees his death as he breaks his stopwatch on the ground. The Aatrox will pay for it as Zick is here. hoping for a strong soul to come through. Like a cloud. And that's all. All in, try to really blow up our gold lead, already overloading the top half of the map. And JDG seems to be... Now though... Teleport in from 369. Yeah, they're looking for the opportunity. Yes, 369 may have been a little bit early as the hook is fantastic. The chain CC comes in, but look at the charm. It's on to everyone. There's the follow-up with Kanavi. He's going to cut them down with the Cyclone. It's Ruler that grabs the first kill. Knight collects one as well. And JDG bought themselves all the space. They'll take the first really hex. tired now, Kobe. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Give me another turret shot. <laughs> Well, Zika is going to get some work done here towards the bottom side. Gets that outer turret for himself to move that uh, goal. Uh, as, as much as Scout has gotten some early kills and has started... Oh, Kanavi. Yeah, finds the angle. Scout is just flashing and trying to get away, but he's not going to be able to do so. The Foxfire comes out. Can you actually get out of this 
this one. The answer is no. Kanabi presses at this part of the game. Knight not going to find the pop blossom there, so that's a cooldown they don't need to deal with. But this is one that they have to, as the quickness comes in and they are just torn apart. Goal is taken out. The turret was still up, but it doesn't matter because Ruler is there to take it. will get a dragon, but that's not going to be... Nate, they might not even be able to. Yeah, they're going to defend the dragon sneak attempt from LNG as well. 369 comes down. Now that everybody else, my Wukong still does plenty of damage. Yeah, if you get two knockups in a massive AOE around your champion, you're feeling pretty good about it. And he thinks that uh, that still existing is going to be the way to make it work. And now JDG with Baron are bearing down on the inhibitor turret in the bottom lane. Ruler just standing back. Remember, he can be there at a moment's notice with that Killer Instinct up and available. Also got both summoners. He's very, very frightening. Three items already completed as Zika. Just looking for these opportunities as in goes Tarzan. Wants to be able to find this one. Kanavi's gonna go golden. Keeps himself alive, buys the time, is hung. He's gonna be the target here from JDG. They managed to get the one for one trade, but it's a little bit better here, you should say, for LNG taking down the jungler. And now Scout looks for the opportunity. Another quickness is incredible as Ruler dives on top of Tarzan. But he doesn't exactly find the value he's looking for. The third Q does come in. They get rid of the buy, but Ruler is also dead. And now Kala taken down. Three, six, nine is a monster and he's gonna take the triple kill and JDG I think they've done it again. Look at his player cam he's not even impressed this is just <laughs> a normal day for this man he's rolling 999 nine, nine this time around Knight hits that double snare at the end LNG are down JDG are gonna move on through and I can feel the groan of all the LPL commentators like not again it all happens just this way but JDG the favorites for the tournament will also be the first ones welcomed to the knockout stage of worlds an LBL tournament favorite